Apple, Google, Coca-Cola, Disney, Amazon, you. Yes, you. You are a brand. Whether or not you have ever given it a moment's thought, whether or not your brand is effectively or even intentionally messaged, whether or not you want to be, you are a brand. Every time you apply for a job, contact a new potential client, post something on a social media website, or do anything that involves establishing or building relationships with other people, you are acting as a brand. Your name or the name that you use for business purposes is your brand name, and everything that you do in your professional life and every appearance you make on the World Wide Web is part of your brand identity. This means that you might as well take aggressive control of your brand identity. If you don't actively shape your brand identity, it will be shaped for you, either by other people's intentional efforts or by random circumstances. In either case, you squander your brand's potential impact. And a brand can be a powerful thing. Apple, Google, and Facebook have changed the world not only with their innovative products, but with the innovative style of thinking they espouse through the way they brand themselves. Moreover, leaders like Gandhi, Martin Luther King Jr., Malala Yousafzai, and Barack Obama have also used creative brand messaging to bring about social change. A brand is more than a product or even a message, it is a way of seeing the world. These days, furthermore, being a brand means also being a web designer and a web content generator, which are newfangled ways of saying something very old. If you are providing content on the internet, you are a writer. Writers are people who have something important to express and who strive to express it in the most engaging, thoughtful, creative, and persuasive way possible. If you are composing a cover letter for your job, you are a writer. If you are trying to sublet an apartment on Craigslist, you are a writer. If you are tweeting, Facebooking, LinkedIn, or YouTubing, you are a writer, even if your medium is images, videos, musical remixes, or lolcats. A useful way to experiment with combining your identity as a brand and your identity as a writer is to design a website that acts as a central location from which you can shape your online identity, or at least attempt to influence the way your online audience will perceive you. In addition to being a way to provide information about yourself and the things you care about to other people who might be interested, the process of designing and writing content for your own website presents an opportunity for you to forge your own understanding of the identity you want to express in the world. If you are successful in developing a website that expresses a compelling message in a compelling way, it can put you in touch with professional contacts, draw viewers to your other online content, improve your Google searchability, and propel your career in unforeseen ways. As you begin the process of planning out your website, here are five tips to get you started. Number one, be yourself. A successful brand communicates a unique personality. People are more likely to agree with or buy something from a person they like rather than a person who strikes them as rude, self-centered, or aloof. The best way you can portray an authentic, consistent, and likable online persona is to simply be yourself. Of course, there is an important distinction between a person's online personality and their real-life personality, at least there should be when it comes to professional activities, in the same way that you adjust your personality differently according to whether you are at work or with friends. At the same time, however, the more you can align your online personality, the online profile of your brand identity, with what really makes you tick, the more convincing your online persona will appear, and the more motivated you will be to take an active interest in developing that persona as an expression of your inner self. You can think of your brand as the perfect essence of the person you aspire to be. If your brand is inspiring to you, it will be inspiring to other people. Number two, give something away. The internet is flooded with content. Everyone and their dog has a website, literally in many cases. No one is going to visit your website just because there's nothing else on. If you want anyone ever to come to your site, you have to lure them with something that is of value to them, and if you ever want them to come back, you have to promise that there is more to come. A successful website rewards people who visit it with something useful, interesting, or entertaining. Put yourself in the mindset of the person who is visiting your site, who doesn't know you, and whose time is valuable. What is in it for that person? Why should she care? Who are your ideal web visitors, and how can you give those people something that will reward them for visiting your site? Asking these questions encourages you to reflect on your target audience, and answering them establishes your sense of purpose as a public enterprise. Number three, find your why. Your website should not just be about you. It should be about something larger than simply promoting yourself. Even if your ultimate goal is to build up your own brand awareness, this goal will generally be easier to achieve if you position yourself as a messenger for some higher purpose. 
The important thing to keep in mind is that you do actually have a higher purpose, whether you know it or not. Whatever you do, there is something that drives you, and it might not be what you think it is. Yes, we all want financial security and the other rewards that go along with success, but each individual selects a unique path to success that reflects not what they want, but why they want what they want. What do you believe in? What do you think will save the world? What are the things in the world that are worth saving, and how can we feel closer to them? The way you answer these questions articulates your why as a human being, and if you manage to express your answers through your online content, these answers can also provide a sense of purpose for your brand. Number four, be precise. Internet viewers are busy, easily distracted people. If they don't see something they like in the first few seconds of looking at a web page, they're on to the next thing, and they'll never look back. In English 101, they call this the hook. Grab your reader in the first paragraph. But when you're writing for social media, everything you write should be the hook. The most visible image or text on the front page of your website should be something that makes an impact, but that also promises more below the fold or through the next link. When you reflect on your why, you may think for hours about all the values that drive you as a human being, but when you sit down to compose the front page of your website, you need to find words and images that compress the fruits of those hours of contemplation into a single conceptual burst. Try expressing your why in a single word. Then try expressing it in one phrase of fewer than five words. Then try expressing it in a single sentence of less than 20 words. Then try writing it out as a five-sentence paragraph. String it together and you've got a sample text for the first page of your website. Number five. Consider the relationship between style and content. The way your website looks should work hand in hand with what your website says. Both should express the key message. If you want to stress the importance of creativity, your website should have a creative design. If you want to establish an air of business-like efficiency, the design of your website should embody the same principles. If your brand relies on promoting a sense of a personal relationship between your business and your clients, then the website should include pictures, testimonials, and warm graphics that create a sense of intimacy. The answer to your why question, that is, provides you not only with something to say, but also with clues about how you should say it. The appearance of your website is a kind of visual metaphor for your brand identity, so every decision you make about layout, color, content, and graphics should be informed by the personality of your brand. Although we think of online writing as a new medium, it actually epitomizes the most primordial essence of writing as a human activity. All media have always been social media. Writing has always been about communicating with other people across space and time for social purposes. So social purposes can be as varied as selling goods, organizing movements, building careers, expanding minds, or locating information. But all of these projects involve reaching out to people for the purpose of changing the world for the better, making it more prosperous, more thoughtful, more connected, and happier. Learning to write effectively for social media empowers people to achieve their individual goals and simultaneously to participate in the transformation of the world.